Welcome back everyone. I'm Stay Consider. I got heaps of ideas, so let's get right into it. So, last episode we did a lot of work over in the Nether, which got us a couple of levels and um, it also got us all the Nether stuff that we need for some of the things over there. We made the lighthouse, which is very beautiful. But since last episode, we've gotten some community ideas. Ideas from you guys that you guys put in the uh, comments or told me in real life. Uh, just ideas that we could put in the survival world. So let's put them on the board right here. Let's grab some signs Here we go And let's put them over here. So we got a suggestion uh, By Dan again, and he said make a huge automatic Automatic Sugar cane farm that one was given by Dan. There we go. A castle. Well, okay, Drew, otherwise known as Alka. There we go. So those are the two ideas that we've gotten from, from you guys. Uh, that I would have liked to add and we also got another suggestion which was a market place by Martin which also um, recommended building the lighthouse right at this. So I was thinking of where we could put the castle and I was kind of thinking of putting it in this general area because I thought that'd be a cool place to uh, to expand the base to so we have like a little little tribe living here like we have some little houses some cows like more like the farmland and all of that we'll have some big big fields of wheat over there um and then maybe we could build a i don't know maybe we could build a bridge to the other side we could have like a big big castle over there so that's kind of the plan i kind of want to get to planning all of that out so i'm going to get some cobblestone because i think we ran out of it uh last episode while making all the comparators and all, all that stuff so yeah, I'm just gonna get all of that and I'll be back with you guys in a second. By the way, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask me, uh, I think it'd be fun to just do a question at the start of every single episode. Just to uh, do a question by one of the viewers, just to have some interaction with you guys. So if you have any questions to ask me about the series or about me personally or, or about whatever you wanna ask a question about, uh, please ask them and I'll answer them in the carbon episodes i think that'd be a very fun uh fun way of doing it maybe a couple of questions or just one per episode um we'll see how many uh how many replies we get to that but um yeah i think it'd be really nice to just do a little back and forth between all of you guys and just have uh have some some real community interaction if you know what i mean so yeah if you have any questions that you'd like to ask me just feel free to just send a Put it, put it in the comments below so we can just uh, converse about it and talk about it and, and you know, I'll, I'll talk about it in my next video. I think that'd be very, very nice. But for now, I think we have enough cobblestone, but we do need to sleep. So let's go into our lighthouse right here. And let's go get some Z's. There we go. Let's see what the wandering trader has to offer, which should now be invisible. Oh no, you didn't drink an invisibility pot. Um, Oh, sea pickles, lily pads, blue ice. That is actually not bad at all. So I know there's a ravine here somewhere that I almost fell into when we were trying to kill the cows. No. No. So we can just leave that for now. I think it'd be very nice if we had a big tower up here. So if we go one, two, three, four, and five, And then maybe go two out, and then do a one, another two, and then another five. Just like that, we'll put another two in. These sheep are really not cooperating, are they? Five, one, and then two, and then one, and one, two, and one, two, three, four. Five, we go one, two, we go one, and then we go one, and two. I have one tower there, we'll have the wall going. I need way more cobblestone than I thought I would. Let's see, because we have those over there, we'll have some some structures that makes us go in, so like a, a gatehouse. A 
maybe four wide and we'll have a one two one two three four and five for the gate just like that we'll have these going down like this so three and four and then we'll go this way again connect to get to there and we'll do the same over here so adding these on to there and then this is where it would end up yikes beautiful this one gone that one extend it over this way and then we can just go oh messed that up yeah it's five over here all right beaut, beaut, beaut. Just add it like that. Sorry, chicken. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, that's great. And then we can have those over there. We'll have a wall going out from this area. That goes up this way. And then we'll have a tower in this place. Five, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, one, two. Just like that, and then we'll connect this one up to this one right there. And then we'll have a big enough place to put in our our castle. So these will be the walls for just the general castle. We'll have the towers in there. Maybe we could add another tower there. I think that would, would be very, very nice. But for now, we can probably just keep it like this and just have that have that going up and then we'll have this connecting as well so a tower here and then connect it to that place over there I'm go gonna get some more cobblestone and I'll be right back with you guys all right I said I'll be right back with you guys but those guys rocked up and I don't have my shield on me so I feel very very uncomfortable fighting that so I'm just gonna sprint over to my house right now seeing if I can just avoid them I think they may have despawned, which is beautiful. I do not mind that at all. Alright, I'm going to get some actual cobble this time, and I'll see you guys soon. Alright, so we've done all the mining of the cobblestone. We have all of it in there, which is very, very nice. We can just start adding all of that in here. Um, I'm just going to see what block I added it onto. It's in between the third and the fourth block. So we'll go over here, we're going between the third and the fourth block and just add it over there. Just catch it going around like this. And then we can add one of the towers in this place. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, one, two. We'll go one, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Yikes. There we go. And then we'll just finish off the part that was up there. And then we'll have to go back to sleep again. Because this shit goes so fast. Uh, yes, up here. Alright, yep, yeah, let's go. I need to get an adventurer's bed. And just have it on me like a bedroll kind of thing. I think that'd be so good because we're just going to have to go back and forth otherwise the entire time and that won't work. Beautiful new day. Time to build up some walls. Get some structures going.
right? And the last little bit of wall. And then we need to think of a little wall design that we can actually come up with that would be able to fit around the entire wall. Uh, I want walkways all the way up on the sides of the walls. Um, and I just want to get all of that going in as well uh, before we start um, just like blindly designing. I actually have some ideas of how I want it. And we might have to go into some creative to, to also just figure out how we're going to do it. Um, let's go up to the highest point and we'll see what it looks like what it looks like because uh, I'm very very curious I was thinking we could probably do the main building over here and then we'll have some smaller buildings at the bottom but he's just building it up like an old medieval city yeah I think that's just gonna look like so cool we'll have all the wheat fields in there we'll have some more houses with the with the hay and all that so maybe over there we'll have some some windmills as well like the ones we have in the place of that, look at the lighthouse, it's so cool. I do not mind this, and we have five stacks, five and a half stacks of cobblestone left, which is nice. Um, yeah, let's let's start planning some of this, some of the inside here. Alright, I'll do it with some cobblestone. Uh, how are the paths going to go? So the path is going to come in here. I'm going to go over this, of course. We'll have a path going this way. Uh, we'll have a path going, I guess, like more of a straight through kind of place. Maybe more this way. Kind of curving up here and then that road will be curving all the way to the big building maybe a bit less of a curve on that last area if we just do it like this i think that would look just a tad nicer Also have a road that just spikes off this area. Maybe you could actually keep this pond and make something like a little park out of it, maybe. We'll have some small alleyways, some ways up to the things, we'll make some barracks and all of that. I think that would look very nice, and then we can make another road going this way. Just like that. Very, very nice. Here we go. We need to do the chores, of course. And then another question uh, I wanted to ask you guys is how would you be interested in some videos on like updates and all of that? Because I've just been doing Let's Plays. I've just been just playing other games as well, but not on my channel. And um, I was just interested to know what other games you guys would like to see me play. Like if you'd like to see me play Apex or Rocket League or... Maybe some other kind of survival game that you've seen other YouTubers play or you've played with friends that you think is a very, very interesting game to play. Uh, let me know in the comments below because I, I would love to know about your experiences with those games and just think it'd be very nice to, to read all about that in the comments and to, uh, to maybe build this community a bit more. Uh, I'm also starting uh, to work on a Discord server. Um, I haven't really set that up yet. I really want to get into uh, how the bots work and just figuring all of that out. But before that, uh, that's uh, all. Uh, it, it will also have all the um, announcements for when a video goes up or whenever that happens. So that's something to stay tuned for. Look at all the wheat. And I think someone else added um, that I should make an automatic sheep farm as well with all the collars. I thought that was very, very cool. So uh, I'm gonna add that one as well to uh, to the list. I just forgot who suggested it was. So if you uh, gave that suggestion, please let me know in the comments. I would uh, 
I'd love to know because I'll be able to put it on the notice board as well. We are really going to need a lot of seats if we want to make really big hay fields uh, going up to the castle. Which is going to be a yikes. But uh, it should be, should be okay. I think I'm going to use cobblestone walls as well. Just like I used for the, the walls of the castle. We'll use the same... Uh, same kind of walls to uh, just outline the, the farm fields and maybe we could make some, instead of just doing um, crops, we could also do some flowers. I think that would look very, very nice and maybe a bit more interesting. But uh, we're running out of bread. Let's craft some of it. There we go, 26 bread. More than enough. And let's breed our cows as well. There we go, just adding cows. Beautiful. Just to get some more experience as well, getting closer and closer to just being able to craft and uh, just being able to enchant. That's the word I was looking for. Close the gate. Boop, boop, boop. We also need to make this area look a lot nicer. I think we can just do that by adding some bone meal and some some custom trees, but it needs to, it really needs to be done. I forgot that we had a vantage point like this and then we can just look at our castle from up here and oh my god that is going to look so amazing with the big tower up there and have it like reaching all the way up maybe have like a wizard tower kind of thing going up there have the castle there we'll have some little structures in there we'll have the hay fields over there we'll, oh, it's going to look so nice just have a little, a little path meandering this way going up there to the village maybe we'll have wheat fields here oh my god I'm looking forward to that. Just being able to see it, just have it looking all nice over there. It's going to look so good. Oh, let's see. Let's make some of these pallets that we can dot around. Um, some of that there, and then we can put some of these. Two, 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 and two, and we'll add some. Some redstone and maybe some gold and lapis blocks. If we can just quickly make some lapis blocks. Like that. Misclicking. Yes, my favorite. Adding some of those ores in there, and then we I thought we might be able to just add some extra stuff, but I'm gonna sleep first because it is getting to night soon. But before we do that, I might be able to get some of these blocks in one, two, three, and maybe four, and just do it like that. We'll have the fences going up. We'll use two different fences, it doesn't really matter. Just want it to look uh, half decent. Let's go to our bed and sleep. We still can't. And that is fine as well. Let's grab another fence. And I guess we could just have this one going up like this. Just like that. And then I'll have it going up there. And then we can just have it going up like that to eat now. Adding some blocks in there and then we can just pull these back. Like that, we'll grab the shears out so we can actually break these just a tad faster. Nice, we can make some fences to hold it up. Right in here. Uh, and then I want to raise those blocks in the middle up just a tad, because this is not exactly how I want it. I want to have these up a bit. Otherwise, I think it might feel just a little bit too cramped in there. So if we get rid of these blocks. And I'll actually do the same for these ones. Maybe even for these, 
this one's low anyway, so I might not do that one. But this is this would be nice to have open like that. And then I think we can even get rid of this one. Just to even it out a little bit. Great. And that's just one of the market cells I wanted wanted to add in. I want to add a couple more. Maybe add one, uh, like make a little wall here uh, on the house and make like a little stall here that goes down. And just all those kinds of little details that we can just dot in the place that's just going to make it, I don't know, flourish a bit more. Just add some life to it and get a lot of that going. Maybe we could add some, some trees or some, just add a tree here, like add some green or... I'm just really looking to forward to finding finding things we can add all over the place. I might want to get uh, some block variation in. Maybe we could do that right now. Uh, if we craft an axe. Do I have my iron on me? No, I don't. Don't even have iron for it. What am I saying? <sighs> I am blabbering bullshit all over. Uh, just like that, we have an iron axe, and we can just add this to our toolbar and just go. We just go like that. Just adding that little bit of variation, I think, will look very, very nice. All right, let's run out over here. Mm -hmm. Let's take this on with us as well. Hello, Mr. Squid. All right, beaut. And then last, I thought it might be nice to add some of these in there as well, but not just adding them like this, but actually taking those off a bit. And we'll come back to this and we'll like touch it up a bit more, but I just wanted to get some of that block variation going in there just to, to really just change it up a bit, not have everything be the same. Which just gives it that little bit more interest. Uh, if you guys have ideas for these buildings as well, please let me know. Because um, I'd love to know about what you think about those builds. But sadly enough, that's all I had time for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. But most importantly, don't forget to stay considerate. See ya.